This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Storenberg, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys a charging curve of the new 120 kilowatt hour Hongxi EHS9, and we compare that with the old 99 kilowatt hour battery. So uh, let me explain a little bit. Uh, we have now uh, at Ionity on the left one, and in the middle we have at the V3 supercharger. On the right one we have a camp power near my home, but that was the old uh, 99 kilowatt hour. And you see that before it peaked at 125 kilowatt, but now it can actually take 130 kilowatt as specified. So it charges slightly faster than before. Also a little bit disappointing since the battery is 21% bigger than before. It should at least charge 21% faster, right? Which is around 100, I don't know, over 100. 150 kilowatt, uh, 160, 170, maybe even, or actually, compared to uh, other 120 kilowatt hour batteries, then this this car should charge at least 200 kilowatt, maybe even more, 250 or even 300. But okay, uh, only 130 kilowatt. But it's a Chinese car, so in general, Chinese cars they charge a little bit slow, except for a few ones like um, X Bang. Uh, yeah, they charge blistering fast. The G9 and also even the P7. But okay, back to the charging session here uh, you will see that there's a strange thing going on here um, why is the ionity charger charging so much slower um, I figured it's out eventually uh, that um, for some reason the Hongqi as long as you're on ionity which are all always 800 volt or uh, even hypercharger also 800 volt you will not get 130 kilowatt it, it seems to hover route around 100 kilowatt only I wonder if the the current is maxed out at 252 amp you can see that there on the left but uh, as long as you're on the 400 volt chargers like um, Tesla or Camp Power, then we get this uh, higher speed, or we get the speed we're supposed to get. And this was also the case for the 99 kilowatt hour battery, because uh, the same thing there, um, I noticed it that um, I couldn't get 125 kilowatt. It was ran well, it appeared to be random until I realized what was I mean, why, why, uh, the reason. So. Yeah, you have to go for 400 volt. I, I, I would expect that if you go to an 800 volt uh, camp power, we will also be limited to around 100 kilowatt. So yeah, that's a bummer. Uh, I will report this to Hongxi, or hopefully they watch my video and they will fix this. I'm surprised that it hasn't been fixed for over a year, and then nobody noticed this even. I seem to be the first one to notice this bug. Uh, and yeah, uh, <laughs> they, did, did, did they not notice this when they were testing it in Europe before they adopted to the CCS and the European market? I'm not sure what's up with that one. But okay, back to the charging session. Because the, the 99 kilowatt hour battery is a smaller one than the 120 kilowatt hour, then you see that um, uh, it it reaches yeah 66% faster than the other one, but um, uh, the middle session at least charges faster than before. But it could seem like there was a flat uh, charging curve. You're going to take a look at the, the charging session also. But uh, one other thing I wanted to see is that uh, many batteries, if you charge slower, for example, Tesla does this, um, yeah, many other brands also, if you for some reason charge slower due to, let's say, Colgate or something else, right? Or, or there's a limitation in the charger, then you will have a flatter curve. Yeah, it just flattens out the curve, so you charge faster towards the end. We will see if this is the case, but um, I can tell you guys that this is actually not the case. You charge slower at the Ionity in the beginning, and you still charge slower towards the end. You see that um, uh, the middle session is 6% uh, ahead, but we actually have to look at the time versus that was so we can see it's 70 there at uh, so um, after 37 minutes uh, the middle session hit 70 percent we can see now how long it takes for the left session to hit 70 percent then um, but uh, the difference here is smaller it's bigger at the bottom but uh, also I mean the, the everything has been shifted so let's see we are at least three minutes behind now uh, maybe more uh, okay four minutes okay oh it's gonna be more five minutes yeah yeah by the way yeah during 1000 kilometer challenge someone figured out that it's like yeah there we go it's it's around five minutes slower on a typical session to at least 50 60 percent and that's what you want to charge this uh, battery to I mean it's a big humongous battery so you see very impressive the way that 
even at almost 80% now, we are taking, at least even in the middle session, you're taking 65 kilowatt. The, the rightmost session, that one went a little bit slow towards the end, but at least with a new battery now, a uh, bigger battery, even past 80%, you can still pump in 66 kilowatt. Very impressive. The other one there to the left, it appears to be faster. Uh, initially, when I saw this, also it appears to be faster, but it is actually more or less spot on with the other one in the middle because um, it's just a little bit behind. It, there you go see now the, the 800 volt session or ionity session also started throttling but um still 66 kilowatt past 80 percent is um uh, i i think i think that's okay uh, it means that you can actually charge beyond 80% and it will still be uh, fairly fast. Some cars tend to plummet. I mean, uh, the speed just plummets past 80% and you might as well disconnect. Uh, typically, let's say, I think it was also some of the other Chinese car, was it? Uh would it be BYD? I don't remember. Oh, okay, but I don't remember which brand it was, so don't uh, don't quote me on that. But um, usually uh, you might only get around 11 or 15 kilowatt past 80 percent. It's almost pointless to charge past that one that point. But over here, I will show you. I just document everything that you see. Even at 90 percent. Okay, okay. Well, I was going to say, okay, once you hit 90%, because this car is so thirsty, then pro tip, uh, you should leave. Um, of course, unless you're going into no man's land when you only have uh, AC available. But um, yeah, past 90%, then it goes so slow that if you're, especially if you're in a rush or if you don't want to wait too long, then you should unplug. And you will see it on the Ionity session that also at 90%, it will throttle. Well, actually, it comes a little bit late. It should The throttle should come at 91%. But I think I stopped it. I stopped it right before it uh, throttled. But okay, so there you guys have it. It's roughly five minutes faster. Okay, and the blue one here is a new car. See that uh, the old one had a faster ramp up, uh, but the new one always has this slow ramp up. I noticed that on, during 1000 kilometer challenge. It will always start around 115 kilowatt and then boom, 130. Woohoo! Nice, but then already here it drops. It actually drops below, slightly below the old battery even. And then here, okay, slightly better, but then look here. So the old battery had a more gentle curve, uh, whereas the new one has this step, 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 um, similar to many Korean cars. I think this is just a shortcut. You don't want to analyze the, the BMS uh, too much. Because you have to, I mean, or, or rather, the BMS doesn't have to analyze too many parameters, right? But Because there are so many things that uh, affects the charging or, or how fast it should be charging. We have state of charge, we have maybe how long we've been charging during this session. We have temperature and the mid and the max, all the temperature. Uh, the, so many param parameters that uh, counts in but instead you just have the step 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 and you see that it's almost as if it has predefined steps and once you hit that step then it just drops like this so this one by the way um, uh, the slight difference it might just be that when i look at the charger screen it was just one percent off but it could have also been it's just you can say it's like a slight measurement error but um what i wanted to show is there's a red line here when we're charging at 800 volt you see that the uh, it seems to be capped at um, at 252 amp, and then as the voltage rises, you get slightly faster speed until it drops, and then you just follows the other session pretty much spot on. So unfortunately, we didn't see any uh, flattening out of the curve, which I've seen in other cars before. Uh, but again, since this is, seems to be a primitive way of, uh, I don't know, uh, the BMS might have been programmed in a primitive way, then there is no flattening out of the curve. So, yeah, now as you guys seen it, the Hongxi, not the fastest one for charging, unfortunately. I wish uh, Hongxi would look at Xpeng and uh, try to copy them yeah chinese copy them. Okay. yeah and uh, maybe in the future version or even in the current version uh, maybe at least we, we can have 130 kilowatt flat until 80 percent that would be great yeah okay i think that's going to be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later